Um, I did grow up in a Christian household, went to church every Sunday. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. That's what I think back to. Um, I mean, because we all learned those songs in church growing up when you're young. Um, but you don't really understand it at that point, you know? I was, I guess, what you would call a good girl. <laughs> didn't do drugs, I didn't drink. And then when I started college, I got invited to parties, you know? So then, when I was in college um, at 22 and I found myself pregnant, um, I thought, oh gosh, what am I gonna do? I had always been taught when you find your love and you get married, then you start a family. And so I guess in my mind, I thought, well, I'm pregnant, getting married's the right thing to do. But it led to a path of destruction for me. After Ella was born, at that point, then that's when I kind of felt like there was no happiness in my life. So my bitterness was internal. So therefore, I talked with people at work and, of course, worked with guys who would kid around about, you know, joking like sexual jokes, you know? Um, and then that kind of gave me that opportunity to have a relationship outside of my marriage. It was like, wow, what the heck? Have I gotten myself into? How do I get out of this? I don't know how to. It went on for about six months before I was caught. Months later, my divorce was final. In the middle of that, I don't think I ever asked for God's grace or mercy or help. It wasn't until months later that I really saw the impact it had on my life. I think I had to like remove myself from it to be able to like see the damage I had done. I knew I had to make a change. I had just had enough and I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. And that's when I realized that, but God is there no matter what. He doesn't judge you. He's not out to get you. He forgives just by you asking. There's nothing you have to physically do for God to love you. And that's God's grace. I realized that I had to let go of the control that I thought I had to let him do his work in me and to allow me to see, you know, the future through his eyes in his way, not my way because I can't control my life as much as I wanted to and thought I could. I realized God was the only thing that could bring me through. And the only way to have a fruitful life was through Him. And so I dated here and there. And then one day, I talked to this guy on the phone. Jason, my now husband, we started talking about church and God, and I thought, this guy loves Jesus. I do too. <laughs> I didn't share my deep, dark secrets with him at first, um, but I did on our first date, and he was right there. He saw me for who I am and not who I was, and I think that in doing that, it made me see God's grace through him. If, if my husband Jason could give me that much grace, then just imagine God's grace. I think having my husband in my life as a conduit of God's grace and love and mercy magnified God's grace and love and mercy. And I'm thankful that I can wake up in the morning and know that it's a new day of grace and mercy.